Most people do not know that AI has become part of our everyday lives. We can't just do without it. Today, AI helps us unlock cars using face recognition, locate new restaurants using Google Maps, and even enjoy rides in self-driving cars. Despite that, Elon is cautioning that development of AI should proceed with moderation. In an interview with BBC, the tech genius reveals that we need to go slow on AI development. Have a look. Singularity, well, that, that's sort of more relating to deep AI. It's something I think we should be concerned about. Most of the movies and TV featuring AI, they don't describe it in quite the way it's likely to actually take place. But I think you just have to consider, like, even in the benign scenario where um, AI, if AI is much smarter than a person, um, what, what do we do? Yeah. What, what is that? What job do we have? Benign scenario, the AI can do any job that a human can, but better. Yeah. That's the benign scenario. There is no doubt that AI is developing smart and intelligent beings. But the big question is whether computers have become smarter than humans. During an AI debate in Shanghai, Tesla's Elon and Alibaba's Jack Ma seriously disagreed on the question. The Tesla CEO is of the opinion that computers are smarter than humans. He gave interesting and convincing examples to back up his view. Check it out. Especially when you have so many smart people, it's impossible to make another smart people. I, I very much disagree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I mean, the first thing we should assume is that we are very dumb. Um, and we can, de we can definitely make things smarter than ourselves. I mean, the, they didn't used to be humans, right? So the, uh, then the, our early civilization was very primitive. Um, we didn't have any technology, really. We we're just like running around, you know, trying to not get eaten uh, or just trying to survive a winter. Now we have like heating and we grow food. This is all new stuff. So, you know, things have obviously gotten way more smarter than the past, way smarter. So that's going to continue. We are not the last step in evolution. So the most important thing, like I said, the most important mis mistake I see smart people making is assuming that they're smart. So give me an example what uh, the animals or things that a human being made that is smarter than human beings. Well, computers actually are already much smarter than, than people on so many dimensions. We just keep moving the goalposts. Uh, so we used to think, like, for example, being good at chess was an example of a smart human. And then Kasparov was crushed by Deep Blue in 97. That was a long time ago. 22 years. I mean, right now your cell phone could crush the world champion at chess, literally. Go used to be sort of thought of as something that humans were better at than computers. Then Lisa Dahl was beaten 4-1 four, four by Alpha Zero. Then uh, there's Alpha Zero. Alpha Zero crushed Alpha Go 100 to 0. Now it's just pointless because it just keeps playing itself. It, humans are it, uh, trying to play a, a computer Go is like trying to fight uh, Zeus. It's a, not going to work. Are you, ho hopeless. We are hopeless, hopelessly inadequate. In terms of rendering, into, like, the, the, basically there's just a smaller and smaller corner of, of, what, of intellectual pursuits that humans are better than um, computers and that every year it gets smaller and smaller and, and soon we will be far far surpassed in every single way guaranteed the tesla founder believes that ai is very beneficial when it is used appropriately in fact tesla is using ai to develop the ev's autopilot feature the tech icon has taken his time to explain how ai is solving our problems and will even solve greater problems in futures such as cancer treatment have a look the, the greatest benefits from AI would probably be uh, in eliminating uh, drudgery, so like in terms of or, or tasks that, 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 are, that are mentally boring, um, not, not interesting. Uh, there's uh, arguably breakthroughs in areas that are currently beyond human intelligence, or at least for now beyond human intelligence. I think we could probably solve them in the long term. Uh, such as um, you know the classic sort of curing cancer and um, addressing diseases of aging, Alzheimer's, and all these things. So there's you know, insert you know various like intractable intractable problems to human intelligence. Or currently, what seem to be intractable problems, and then the, if you had something that was way smarter, it could solve those problems.
In the same interview, the tech billionaire does not hesitate to highlight some of the setbacks of AI. His main worry is that human civilization may not be able to recover from a world that is fully controlled by AI. Have a look. Well, I think it, it's, it's best to prepare for, uh, to, to try to prevent a negative circumstance from occurring than to wait for it to occur and then be reactive. So, and, and this is a case where the potential, the range of negative outcomes, are quite, some of them are quite severe. Um, so it's not clear whether we'd be able to recover from some of these negative, negative outcomes. In fact, some of the, so you can construct scenarios where um, recovery of human civilization does not occur. Um, and when the risk is that severe, it seems like you should be proactive and not reactive. What is even worse is that AI can be used as a weapon. As early as 2010, the arms division of South Korean tech giant Samsung built autonomous sentry guns that use image recognition to spot humans and fire at them. Too bad. In an interview with Joe Rogan, Elon Musk gives more insight on AI being used as a weapon. Check this out. The thing that's going to be tricky here is that it's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. It's going to be very tempting. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. Um, so the, 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 the on-ramp to serious AI, the danger is going to be more humans using it against each other, I think, most likely. That'll be the danger. But all is not lost in the war against AI regulation. Elon is giving us some hope. Through his Twitter page, the tech guru is making a clarion call for AI to be regulated. His tweet reads, Got to regulate AI robotics like we do food, drugs, aircraft, and cars. Public risks require public oversight. Getting rid of the FAA wouldn't make flying safer. They're there for good reason. But the OpenAI founder has gone a step further. He has decided to put his money where his mouth is. In an interview, he responds to a question regarding his donation of $10 million to an institution that is doing research on the regulation and safety of AI. Check this out. Um, I don't think $10 million is a large amount of money for, for this subject area. Um, it should probably be higher. Um, but but the, you know, it, it, there should be probably some much larger amount of money um, applied to AI safety. Um, it, it, in multiple ways. It is a pity that most people do not understand how AI is impacting our lives. If we do not take Elon's warning seriously, we will not even be prepared for the next big things in AI. Let us appreciate AI before it is too late.